got a Brit Baker promo, and basically Brit just let it be known, man, that you know she is you know as important to wrestling as, as much as Soraya don't think. You know, Britt Baker was definitely one of the stables during the pandemic when you know wrestling when we weren't even sure if we was going to be able to see wrestling. We didn't even know what we were going to get. We didn't even think. A lot of things were going to come back, and somehow, some way, we still were able to get our wrestling. And even though the fans couldn't be there to give that emotion that comes with being and watching wrestling, uh, they still showed out and performed and gave their best. And we got some, we got some classic matches. So, I, I definitely give her her props for that. But I don't know what to. Exp- I, I don't. I don't have too much expectation in this match because, like CM Punk, is like, okay, this is another person we haven't seen wrestle. In a very long time, Punk was rusty, but he held his own. But he was in there with a uh, someone like Darby Allen, so you know he was able to look good while you know you know while having a match. I don't know about Soraya because she's coming from injury. Where CM Punk was just retired, you know he was just you know, so. I I, I, I want to hope that it's at least a good match. You know that she's be able to hold her own, and you know that they'll. They'll put something well together, and she'll look good in it. Uh, your thoughts, man? All right. So the thing, you know, with Soraya and CM Punk. So two things. One, you gotta also remember CM Punk came back after what damn near a decade, right? And also CM Punk came back in his forties. Soraya just hit thirty. Uh, so, but that's know, a, but that's a major injury from where she's coming back from. Her movement. That that that's my thing. It's the injury and her movement that I'm worried about. That, that's why I say. It's the time frame of just not wrestling, but it was different circumstances to why they weren't wrestling. Yeah, I mean, I mean, do I do I think she's going to be a little more cautious? Sure, but if there's anybody that gave me hope, it'd be Brian Danielson. Brian Danielson was a guy who suffered a career-threatening injury, and you never thought you would see him yeah. in the ring again. And his injury came based off his style of just being reckless in the ring. We know him as a great technical guy. We know him as a great submission specialist, but my guy takes some crazy bumps. And he goes 100 miles an hour, and that was one of the reasons why his neck got messed up the way it did. And it's just a lot yeah. of his moves he does, uh, he wasn't supposed to do, and then he wrestled, got acclimated back to the ring, and now he's back out there doing some of those same moves that got him on the shelf in the first place. Uh, with right, Soraya, right. You know, I, I definitely think there's going to be a filling out process. I mean, for sure. I mean, because one, she's a completely different company. She's not going to be handcuffed and restricted to the WWE style of wrestling. Uh, one. And I think, you know, it. she's going to be nervous. Uh, I, I don't think you can come back from an injury like that where you damn near get paralyzed and not kind of want to step a little bit or maybe second or third guess it. But right. I believe Britt Baker, from what I've seen so far, I believe Britt Baker is good enough to where she can help carry a legend uh, and a wrestler with the status and reputation of Soraya. So I don't I don't think the match is going to be terrible, but much like you, I'm going to go into it with the open mind, with very low expectation, not because I think it's going to be bad, but because I understand the situation at hand. You know, she's coming back from injury. She hasn't wrestled in well over five years and you know Britt baker is still fairly new i mean yeah she's a pillar she's the face but she's still new and at the end of the day you know what i'm saying you can't teach experience